on the topic of money and politics and corruption, here's MSNBC. They're going to cover uh, something that Bernie Sanders said here, a way that the Democrats should move forward. And uh, look at the smug disdain that's oozing off these people. Bernie Sanders tweeting on Monday, uh, if the Democratic Party is to become a Democratic Party, the first job of the new DNC chair is to get the super PAC money out of Democratic primaries, APAC and other billionaire funded super PACs cannot be allowed to select uh, Democratic candidates. Uh, they typically don't. Um, they're not. That is not true. The idea that APAC doesn't pick candidates. Fucking of course they pick candidates. That's the reason why Cory Bush and Jamal Bowman aren't there. That's the reason why Nina Turner lost. It was APAC coming in to massively outspend these lefty candidates and prop up some centrist goon. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. All right, let me run it back. APAC and other billionaire-funded super PACs cannot be allowed to select uh, Democratic candidates. Uh, they typically don't. Um, they're not going to put their money into a DNC chairman's race. Um, he didn't say that. He didn't say they were putting their money into a DNC chairman's race. He was saying they put their money into Democratic primaries and the DNC should make a rule that in Democratic primaries, they can't accept that money. That's what he's saying. For me, as as the head of former head of a party, as county chairman and a state chairman, um, that to me is short sighted thinking about where the landscape is. One thing that has very little to do with the other. It's short sighted thinking to say, hey, let's get big money out of politics because big money is screwing the Democratic Party. If big money comes in, and these are interests that are conflicting with the will of the American voter, the Democrats are going to represent the donor instead of the voter. That's a problem. That's a problem. The donors are effectively getting to pick who the Democrats can be, and those Democrats are beholden to those donors. That's a problem. That's a problem, Michael Steele. Super PACs and all those guys play in elections and campaigns. That's a different conversation than running for chairman and telling the people who are going to write checks, we don't want you writing checks. Michael Steele is totally confused the argument Bernie made. Bernie was saying the DNC should pass a rule to ban this big money in Democratic primaries. That's what he was saying. He wasn't saying anything about the DNC banning big money donors from giving money to the DNC. Now, I'm sure Bernie also supports that, but that wasn't what he was referring to. He was referring to Democratic primaries, and he's confusing the issue here. You're absolutely right. With all due respect to Senator Sanders, um, you know, you might want to join the party if you want to have something to say. Well, there is that. You might want to join the party if you have something to say. In other words, we're right back in 2016. He's not even a Democrat. 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 This is the mindset. This is the mindset, which leads to, you know, the Democratic elites screwing Bernie multiple times. He's not even a Democrat. He's not even a Democrat, bro. Yeah, he's got better ideas that should be adopted by the Democrats. And by the way, he caucuses with the Democrats. Okay, so let's stop with this bullshit. Uh, so, um, you know, just on his face, it's, that's a little problematic yeah. for me. <laughs> on his face is problematic. So, a non-Democrat says... Corruption is bad. In fact, a left-leaning Democrat, a Democratic Socialist, a, a non-Democrat, Democrat Socialist who's an independent who caucuses with the Democrats, says corruption is bad. So she goes, how can I know that's true or not? He's not even a Democrat. Oh, burn. Real fucking, real deep thought there. In terms of the money, look, that's not the DNC's issue. You're, you're exactly right, Mr. Chairman, that these kind of that kind of money is in local races, in state races, and the laws vary by state. Yep. So you, for the DNC to spend its time and energy on what state A says versus what state B says, what versus what C candidate C says, just doesn't make any sense to me. There's so oh much work for the next chair to do. That would not be in the top ten. Oh, things that I focused oh, on. Yeah, the, the, 11 or 12. <laughs> oh, 50. <laughs> Look at them fucking laughing about it. They're laughing about it. <laughs> Why would addressing corruption be in the top 10 things or 11 or 12? <laughs> yes, we love the corruption. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are a fucking caricature. You do understand why Bernie wants this to be the case, right? You do get the logic and the reasoning behind it, right? The logic is, well, if APAC comes in, props up a shitty Democrat by spending 10 times as much on that candidate versus their opponent, 
and then that person gets in there, and they represent APAC and don't represent the voters, that is overall bad for the Democratic Party, because that also strengthens the Republicans. If you have a Democratic Party that represents nothing but the interests of the donors, they're going to lose. They're going to lose. That's the point. The point is, bro, this is a trust issue now. This is a trust issue. All these questions and this autopsy, hey, why did Kamala lose? Hey, we should probably address this. At the core of that is, this is not a working class party anymore. It's not viewed as a working class party, even though Democrats generally have better policies than Republicans do. It's not viewed as a working class party. They are hemorrhaging working class support, and to the extent they're gaining any, it's upper class support. This is a trust thing. So one way to address that trust is get the big donor money out of the system and make it so that if Democrats are raising money to either small dollar donors or like union money, and then make this party represent those interests, not the interests of fucking APAC or Big Pharma or Wall Street or the military industrial complex. It's a trust thing. It's a trust thing. Back before we had so much big money in politics, the Democrats were clearly the party of the working class because they took money from unions and lawyers and uh, regular folks, right? As soon as you had this flow of big money and you had Bill Clinton and the DLC uh, and this new Democrat archetype, that was when Democrats said, we need to take a lot of corporate money like Republicans do to stay competitive. And then they did that and the Democrats became a lot more like Republicans. And so then you had basically two wings of the Republican Party. And it turns out that oftentimes when Americans get a choice, they will go with Republican original versus Republican light. And this is what Bernie's trying to avoid. This is what he's trying to avoid. This is what he's trying to help with. And it's viewed as, you're just a hostile outsider who doesn't know what he's talking about. You're not even part of the party. Why should we listen to anything that you have to say? <laughs> okay, but virtually everything the guy says is backed up by what the majority of the American people want. That's why he ran on universal health care. That's why he ran on higher minimum wage. That's why he ran on ending the corruption. That's why he ran on uh, reducing income and wealth inequality. But they're so smug and they're so insular, they're literally laughing at a guy who's saying, corruption is bad and we should do something about that. At this point, you, I don't even know how to respond to it. They're so far gone, they're so silly, it's pathetic. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.